So I was granted by the MDS Foundation in 2009 while I was doing my postdoc position in Dr. Neil Young's lab at the NIH. Um, I was uh, mainly doing bench side uh, work. I was working on, on PNH and aplastic anemia, and uh, it allows me to really improve uh, my uh, knowledge on the disease and, and to run some uh, very interesting study on the phenotype of aplastic anemia and the role of uh, the lymphocytes and how every uh, the, the immune system was uh, coordinating in aplastic anemia. Then it was work on PNH and the sensibility of those cells to uh, different treatment. And it was really something that helped me to stay longer here and uh, to finish this, this work and to bring back to France this experience and to develop this uh, in my country and in, in, in my hospital. Well, um, for me it was really extremely important. Uh, first of all, spending two years in Dr. Niels Leung lab is a unique opportunity. Um, we were there with other postdoc fellows and having some very nice discussions and uh, Neil was always with us discussing and, and, and now we are still having discussion while we are all outside NIH so that's really funny and, and we are continuing working, discussing, running project together so for me it was really really nice on the aplastic part but also on the transplant part because I'm a transplanter and we also during this collaboration during this this time I was in the US we also developed some new tools to predict toxicity from transplant and um, uh, uh, precisely we were able to find that patients with short telomerans uh, were exposed to high risk post-transplant so it was not only for plastics and PNH it was also uh, for transplantation so it was really a rich and, and, and very interesting experience for me So I really think that uh, this work that was achieved with the HAMDS uh, Foundation grant was able to better understanding the pathophysiology of both aplastic anemia and PNH. And I hope that we will continue to try to better uh, uh, describe the disease and the pathophysiology of the disease. This is really the way that we uh, should work to be able to propose new treatment, target treatment for the, the patients that are suffering the disease. This is the first part of my answer. And the second part is that, of course, the MDS Foundation grant allowed me to work also on these predictive factors for toxicity post-transplant. So it was also for me very interesting to see that at the end we'll be able to really identify candidates for transplantation and candidates that would not be exposed to a higher risk of mortality. This is extremely important because it's something that at the moment could not be well addressed because we don't have any precise tool to say this patient is going to have complications from transplant, these others not. So this is really something also that is important for me and I was uh, allowed to, to develop with this grant at an age. So uh, first of all I have the chance to be involved in the uh, organization of the scientific symposium or the AAMDS foundation every two years. Uh, I will have the chance to edit the booklets for patients and to be involved in patient education and uh, I'm also reviewing uh, some grants uh, for the AMDS uh, foundation um, every year. So uh, I would definitely recommend to young investigators to apply to uh, hey, hey, MDS Foundation grant. It was such a terrific experience for me that uh, I'd like others to just leave this uh, on their own for their own research. Well, for those who funded the grant, I'd like to say thank you very much. It was probably the most terrific experience of my life. I spent two years discussing the disease, trying to better understanding the disease, and now I am able to better treat my patients. So really, thank you very much. And for those who are thinking to give, please be aware that this grant is really something highly selected, and the best young investigators are here, and it will definitely improve the disease in the end.